doing this really special event, even in such kind of arguably dark times, has felt really incredible. Good actually, it didn't feel like it was a competition. It was like a couple of pals coming cooking on a barbie. Yeah, it's good for chefs to be pally rather than rivals, I'd say. I found there was more energy and passion this year, actually. I get the feeling that the guys totally embraced the box because they were using stuff that they might not have used before. Yeah. And there's been techniques and, and flavours I've never seen before, which I'll certainly be nicking later on. It only proved for a bit of an hour or something, but it's quite dense. The food was imaginative, modern, skillful. You know, and when you look at the environment that the guys have produced it in, you know, hats off them. Amazing, absolutely amazing. gives any chef, not just any young chef, but any chef to come down and pick their own produce. And for anybody that wants to get involved, the produce is fantastic. Each dish we came up was better than the last. Really, really, really good food. But this year's winner of the golden slash green colander <laughs> is John Trainer. Hey! Uh, I'm at Glasgow Porn uh, Bread kind of Chef, so the ingredients from Glasgow is always going to be better. Like for me personally. Like, um, so we use some of the dressing, it's on the kebabs. I know Brilliant. what I can get now, where I can pick it, and, and knowing it's going to help someone else. To anyone that's thinking about doing the competition next year, do it. <laughs> uh, yeah, do it. It's really good.